Solving multi-step inequalities. For the first one, we have negative 4 is less than 5 minus 3x. So the first thing we're going to do is get my 5 and my 4 on the same side. So I'm going to subtract the 5 from both sides. That's going to give me negative 4 minus 5, which is negative 9, is less than negative 3x. So the next thing we have to do is get rid of the negative 3 times x. So I'm going to divide by negative 3. When you divide by a negative, you have to flip the sign. So what I'm going to have is a greater than sign. Negative 9 divided by negative 3 is a positive 3 and x. So my final answer is x is less than 3. And the next one, we have 50 is greater than 0.8x plus 30. So subtract the 30 from both sides. 50 minus 30 is 20, which is greater than 0.8x. Now, to solve this one, you're going to divide by 0.8. You do not switch the sign this time because it's not a negative. So I have 25 is greater than x. So the final answer, x is less than 25. Final answer. Number three. This one's a little bit more complicated because we have the distributive property first. So I'm actually going to start by distributing... And then I'll have 3x plus 3 is greater than or equal to negative 9. Now it looks just like the problems we had before. So I'm going to subtract the 3. 3x is greater than or equal to negative 9 minus 3, which is a negative 12. And then I'm going to divide by 3. And I have x is greater than or equal to negative 12 divided by 3, which is negative 4. So that would be your final answer. And you do not switch the sign because you did not divide by the negative. Next one, we have, again, a distribution problem. So I'm going to start by distributing the right side. So I have 38 is less than or equal to 2 times 4 is 8x, 2 times 7 is 14, and then I'm going to solve here. So I subtract the 14 from both sides, canceling that out, leaving me with 24 is less than or equal to 8x. So the next step is to get rid of the 8, so I'm going to divide by 8. 24 divided by 8 is 3, less than or equal to x. Since it's standard to write the x on the left side, we're going to say x is greater than or equal to 3. Final answer. Now we have some problems with multiple variables in them. We do the same thing. We put things together. And then if we multiply or divide by a negative number, we flip the sign. So this first one, we have, I'm going to put the 1 on the other side. So I'm going to add 1 to the other side, giving me 6n is greater than 3n, 8 plus 1 is plus 9. Next step is to get the ends together, so I'm going to subtract the 3n so that my ends are on the same side. 6n minus 3n is 3n greater than 9. Then to solve, I'm going to divide by 3, divide by 3. So n is greater than 9 divided by 3, which is 3. Final answer. Next problem, we have 
3m plus 12 is greater than 27 minus 2m. So subtract the 12 from both sides. 3m is greater than 27 minus 12 is 15 minus 2m. Put the m's on the same side, plus 2m, plus 2m. 3 plus 2 is 5m is greater than 15. So then I'm going to divide by 5, both sides. So I have m is greater than 15 divided by 5 is 3. Final answer. And next example, we have 10 minus 8a is greater than or equal to 2 times the quantity 5 minus 4a. So once again, we have a distribution that we're going to do first. So then we have 10 minus 8a is greater than or equal to 10 minus 2 times 4 is 8a. And now I'm going to solve as I have before. So I'm going to start with subtract the 10 from both sides. So I have negative 8a is greater than or equal to negative 8a. And then we would add the 8a over. Zero is greater than or equal to zero. Now you look at this problem and you wonder, is that true? Is this a true statement? Well, the answer is yes, because zero is equal to zero, so it's always true. So that means the answer is all real numbers. Or you could use the symbol capital R with two bars like that. So that's your final answer because the equation is always true. And the next one, 6m minus 5 is greater than 7m plus 7 minus m. So I'm going to start by getting this 5 on the other side, plus 5 plus 5. So that's going to give me 6m is greater than 7m minus m plus 12. 7m minus m is 6m. So I'm going to have another step where I put these two together. 6m is greater than 7m minus 1m is 6 m plus 12. So I'm going to put the m's together and I'm going to subtract 6m subtract 6m 6 minus 6 is 0m so I have 0 is greater than 12. So we're going to look is this true? And the answer is no. So because it's no, because 0 is not bigger than 12, then there is no solution. Or you can use the circle with a slash through it. Because it can never be true. So those are your notes over solving multi-step inequalities. Go through some of these practice problems to make sure that you can do the different types. Make sure you understand if there's all real numbers as your solution or no solution. And then you can take your quiz over this material.